So with this, we're not really trying to create a ton of improved range of motion or permanent range of motion. A lot of times we're using this to kind of restore length after going through a workout or simply loosen up a little bit before a workout. So we're going to have three positions. One is going to be hip angle below 90 degrees, position two at 90 degrees, and position three above 90 degrees. The low position, we're getting more low back emphasis, and that's one reason we're not trying to hang out there. We're not trying to increase range of motion. We don't want to create a hypermobile lower back. As we move the legs up, that's going to move the emphasis of the mobility movement further up the spine, and then as we get the knees all the way up, that's going to focus more on the thoracic spine. So just a couple things to help with alignment. We also want to throw in a little bit of chest and shoulder, so roughly this 45 is the ideal angle for that. So from your side position, we're going to start out at about a 45 degree angle below, anchor with the bottom hand, start with your hand on your knee, and then you're going to go on a diagonal line away from the knee as you rotate. Position two, we come up to 90 degrees, anchor, and now you're going to go from your shin on that same diagonal line. And then position three, we are above 90 degrees, so about 45 degrees above. Now it's going to be the ankle or foot and travel on the same line. So the key is make sure, as far as the upper body part is concerned, that we are here and not just going straight out to the side so we can get that entire line of tissue going all the way across the body. So we're never going to hang out in these positions for a really long time. We're simply going to rotate, rotate back out, rotate, rotate back out.